Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and a user asked me about creating custom thumbnails. I've got some strategies, so let's get cracking. All right, friends, so the first thing I want you to know is I make all of mine in TubeBuddy. So if you haven't tried TubeBuddy yet, there is a link in the description. It's super slick, and there's a free version that lets you do everything that I'm doing in this video. So first, you need a screenshot or you need a capture of an image. Now, you can do that in TubeBuddy, but I had myself in the video that I'm about to make a title, and I don't want myself yet. So what I'm doing is I went to my program and I'm going to use a screen capture tool. I like to use a snipping tool. It is built into Windows. You can use any screen capture tool you want. And I just grab the part that I like most and then I'm going to save it to my hard drive. You can stretch this when you bring it in to the TubeBuddy thumbnail generator so it's no big deal. I'm going to call this Jet. And I'm going to store it in my downloads. Looks like I already did Jet Capture, so we'll do Jet too. Once you've got your image, I'm going to minimize. Now I'm going to move to the video that I want to make the thumbnail for. You can see right here I've got my TubeBuddy extension, and I'm going to hit Details on this video I uploaded. And then in this, I'm going to click Create Thumbnail. I'm going to use an image that I've already got, and then I'm going to upload that image that we just found. Once again, downloads, there is my jet capture. After a moment, it will upload, and we can click on it to see what we've got. When you click continue, the next page is where you get to add all your cool parts. Well, as you can see, mine doesn't fit, which is fine, because what I'm gonna do is stretch it and put it where I wanted anyhow. So now I've got room for text up here on the top, and then I'm going to have a piece of text on the bottom, and then I'm going to put my picture on the left. Real quickly, the tools available are bring to front, send to back. You can lock a layer. You can add a black drop shadow. You can add a white drop shadow. You can change the opacity. You can change the brightness, and you can change contrast, and then you can delete objects. You can insert text. When you click on this, there are several styles. Uh, you can pick from all of these. You can also upload your own, which I have not done yet. You can change your colors, size. You can add images. You can add shapes. You can add emojis. You can put frames around it if you wanted to do a fancy frame. And then my favorite part is templates. When you are done, see this save layers at a template button? You can save what you built. So if we go to templates, I've got one called GOFS Red. When I click that, it automatically brings in my words. It brings in a rectangle that I set the opacity. So if we click on this, you can see it's at 30%. So that way the words stand out on top. And then it brought in a picture of me. Now I don't want that picture, so I just hit delete. And then I could take another picture, or today I think I'm going to use this one right here and just plop it in like that. I'm gonna bring the text in front by telling it bring to front. So that way I can put myself wherever I want and the other two pieces simply go where they want. I'm gonna move this down and bring it to front and then I'm gonna bring my words back up and I'm gonna bring them in front. So I've got the little shadow in front of my shoulder and then instead of flight six and fun flight, I'm gonna change this to what this video is about. So now I've changed my title to be GOFS bonus tips and this one is about community aircraft. Now it's really community contributed aircraft, but that's too large to actually put on this screen. I'm gonna arrange this, notice I've got that background so I can adjust it. And I'm gonna shrink this down just a little bit. And I think I am happy with that. Once you've got your title done, you can hit continue and you can save and publish it. So there you have it, friends. That's how I create my custom thumbnails. Don't forget the biggest part of it is I do use TubeBuddy a ton. If you haven't tried that out, there is a link in the description. And of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.